Hello students, in present video, I am going to explain about fourth problem from depreciation topic. I am taking this question from Pankaj Publications book. See the question. Tick Tick company purchased second hand machine on 1st January 2000 for 12,000 rupees and immediately spent 8,000 on its overhauling. On 1st July 2000, additional plant costing 10,000 was purchased. On July 1st, 2002, the machinery acquired on 1st January 2000, having become obsolete, was sold off for 4,000 rupees. On the same date, another machinery was purchased at a cost of 24,000 rupees. Depreciation was provided annually on 31st December at the rate of 10% per annum on the original cost of the machine. Show the machinery account as it appeared at the end of each year from January 2000 to 31st December 2005. This is the question. See the solution for this. Machinery account. Date particular same one, date particular same one. First what happened? They purchased a second hand machinery on 1st January 2000 for 12,000 rupees. So 2000 is the starting year. Immediately spent 8,000 on its overhauling. So first asset value is 12,000 plus 8,000, 20,000. On July 1st, 2000, same year, additional machinery is purchased for 10,000 rupees. Continuation is for 2002 year. So in 2000 year, two assets they have. With the 2000 year, we have to start the problem. And 31st December, every year they are closing accounts now. Means calendar year they are following. So year starting date 1st January, year ending date 31st December. When they buy the asset, debit side we should show. They purchase this first asset on 1st January 2000. Show that date. For purchases, you have to write two bank account. They purchased for 12,000. On this asset, they spend some expenditure also. For that also, same date, same account name in particular column, two bank account, 8,000 expenditure. Now, total cost of first asset is 12,000 plus 8,000, 20,000. In 2000 year, on 1st July, they purchased second asset. For that also, debit side to bank account. Cost of second asset is 10,000. Then, 2000 year, last date, 31st December 2000. On that day, we have to provide depreciation. Because assets we use now, its value decreases by depreciation account. First asset cost, 20,000. On that, at the rate of 10% per annum, given in the question, rate of depreciation. First asset is used for full year now. So, months are not required. 20,000 into 10%, 2,000. Second asset, cost is 10,000. At the rate of 10%, they purchased on 1st July. 1st July to 31st December, 6 months. So, into 6 by 12. Only for 6 months, you have to provide depreciation. Amount is 500. Total in outer column, 2,500. Then debit total 30,000 minus credit amount is equal 27,500. For that last date, by balance carried down. Two side highest total 30,000, 30,000. First year is completed. Come to second year. Next date to this date, debit side we should write. First January 2001. You have to bring this balance on debit side. Two balance brought down 27,500 here. In 2001 year, there is no extra purchase, there is no sale. So, at the end of 2001 year, 31st December 2001, these two assets we have. On these two assets, depreciation we have to provide by depreciation account. First asset, in 2001, it is used for full year. Full year depreciation we have calculated in previous year 2000. Show that amount. Second asset, cost is 10,000. This is fixed installment method now. So, every year on original cost of the asset, we have to calculate depreciation. Therefore, take this same value 10,000 at the rate of 10%. And in second year, full year we use this. So, previous year 500 is 6 months depreciation. No? Don't show that amount here. As it is used for full year, separate calculation is needed. 10,000 into 10 by 100, 1,000. Total in outer column, 3,000. Then debit amount minus credit amount balance carried down is 24,500 for that date last date of the year two said highest total 27,500 come to third year this balance carried down amount bring on debit side 24,500 
two balance brought down. Date is next date to this date, first January 2000. In 2002 year, what happened? See the question. On 1st July 2002, the missionary acquired on 1st January 2000, having become obsolete, was sold off for 4000. First asset means 12,000 plus 8,000, 20,000 worth asset now. That is only purchased on 1st January 2000. That machine is sold for 4000. On the same date, means when? 1st July 2002. Another missionary was purchased at a cost of 24,000. So, first asset is sold, new asset is purchased. Purchases. David said, no, 1st July 2002. For purchases, we have to write to bank. Here also, again, write down the same. To bank, 24,000. Now, first asset is sold on 1st July 2002. So, when we buy debit side, we are showing. When we sell credit side, we should write on that day, sale date, buy bank account. They sold it for 4,000. Write down that value. And up to this sale date, we use this asset. Means depreciation we should calculate now. By depreciation account on first asset. Original cost method. Therefore, on cost only, we should calculate depreciation. 20,000 into 10 by 100 into. In 2002 year, from when to when they have this asset? 1st January to 30 June. Because on 1st July, they sold. Means July, we should not count. Up to 30 June, 6 months. So, 6 months depreciation is 1000 rupees. And in this sale, we may get a profit or loss. That separately we have to calculate in rough notes. See here. Profit or loss in sale of machinery. First asset cost is 20,000 minus total depreciation. First 2000 year depreciation is available here. 2000. That amount. 2001 year depreciation. 2000. 2002 year depreciation we have calculated here now this one 1000 so total in outer column 5000 20,000 minus 5000 15,000 is book value book value means the actual value of the asset at the time of sale 15,000 worth asset is sold for 4000 we sold for less loss came so book value first 15,000 minus sale value 4000 loss is 411,000 this 11,000 credit side we should show. If profit comes, debit side. So when loss comes on sale date only. So show that sale date. For loss you have to write by profit and loss account 11,000. Sold asset information is completed. Come to last date of 2002 year. 31st December 2002. On that day, which assets we have? First asset is sold. Okay. Second asset, 10,000 worth asset we have and third asset, 24,000 worth asset. On these two assets, depreciations you have to calculate on credit side. Second asset is used for full year. Full year depreciation in previous year it is available 1,000. Show that amount. Third asset, now only we purchase now. So show that depreciation calculation. 24,000 into 10% into they purchased on 1st July. From 1st July to 31st December, 6 months. Depreciation is 1200. 2 amounts total in outer column, 2200. Then finally, balance carried out on the last date. Debit total, 48,500 minus credit amounts, 4000, 11,000, 1000, 2200. Finally, balance carried out is 30,300. Two sides highest total. Continuation. Up to 2005, he is asking. So, next date. 1st January 23, two balance brought down. This balance carried down amount, 30,300 year. 2003 year last date, 31st December 2003. On that day, depreciation we have to calculate now. Now two assets are continuing with us. Second asset, third asset. Second asset, one year depreciation, 1000 rupees. Third asset, in 2003, from 1st January to 31st December we used now. So, again you have to calculate depreciation for full year. 24,000 original cost of the asset on that 10%, 2,400. In outer column, total depreciation, 3,400. Now, debit total, 30,300 minus 3,400 is equal to 26,900. For that, balance carried down, last date. Two said highest total, 30,300. Come to next year. 
balance carried down amount becomes balance brought down to balance brought down next date to this date 1st january 2004 now 2004 year also there is no purchase there is no sale so on 31st december 2004 two assets are with us by depreciation two three assets and what we do here is need not to show separate calculations because second asset is used for full year third asset is also used for full year so this is a full year depreciation already in 2003 we have calculated total 3400 in 2004 also full year we use this two assets now therefore same 3400 again we can write here when we need separate calculations after 2003 if asset if any asset is sold then we need separate calculations because on this sold asset we have to calculate profit or loss for that we need depreciation separately but here no asset is sold now that is why on this two amounts directly depreciation we can show in outer column then balance carried down debit total 26900 Minus credit amount three thousand four hundred is equal twenty three thousand five hundred. Last date of the year by balance carried down. Up to two thousand five he is asking. So next year also continue that credit amount debit side to balance brought down. Next date to this date first January two thousand five. Two thousand five year no purchase no sale. So last date of two thousand five thirty first December two thousand five by depreciation account. Now also this second asset, third asset, both are continuing for twelve months now. So same, dip, same amount three thousand four hundred directly we can show as depreciation. Then debit total twenty three thousand five hundred minus credit amount three thousand four hundred is equal twenty thousand one hundred. This is balance carried down for last year thirty first December five, and two side total highest total twenty three five hundred twenty three five hundred up to two thousand five. completed but in asset account balance is there therefore for next date bring the balance at stop the problem 2100 debit side to balance brought down date is next date to this date 1st january 2006 so this is the end of present problem take a screenshot of this solution first page continuation Hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you.